Wow. They have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, poor girl. Feel bad for her. It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning! Oh, the sad song. Ugh. She looks so tired. I'd be tired too, man. You going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. And of course I will! First things first, I better get her cheered up. Of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? What's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No. No one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? That's probably just the way she interpreted it because of the situation. Even though, like, Phoenix as a man probably wasn't thinking that at all. I probably just thought, oh my gosh, what happened? It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. <laughs> Honestly, I was on the edge the entire time. It's been a while. Ha! So he crashed and burned. <laughs> He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. It's true, the way he points at people. Point! The only thing he's lacking is experience. Ha! Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. A what? Woman? That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. What can we talk about? What else can we talk about? Okay. Girl! What do you have to say for yourself? There's been something I've been wanting to ask you. What's with that outfit? <laughs> yeah, what's with that outfit? All al alcoholites wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like, people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. Yeah, right by the look on your face. I'm a speedy spirit medium. In training. Spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. <laughs> the day of the crime. Okay. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. Larry, what do you have to say for yourself? How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah! I forgot how to delete those things. <laughs> Alright, so cell phone, please. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right! Oh. I just remember that detective took my cell phone. Gumshoe! Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Cool. Now about this... What? I thought we already went over this. No, it's okay. All I've been doing last year, I was talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning... Okay, for some reason I didn't see a check mark right there. And I was like, no, impossible. I just did this like two seconds ago. When did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9. 
Lights were off, and I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Except for this thing about spirit mediums, I must know. You're an acolyte. Er, uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fae family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fae family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Neither did I. Wait! What? With ESP and all that? Yes, in training. So in other words, she's not very good at it? Yep. You can just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Thought that would be too easy. Yeah, it would be too easy because then the case would be solved at that point. Uh, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? What? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave this to me a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. Hmm. Um. That's what she wants. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I hate you. Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? He told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? Giving me until 4 this afternoon. Oh, lordy. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Well, coolio, yo. Let's see. Well, I guess I gotta go here. September 6th. Grossberg Law Offices. The big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention, run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Well, okie dokie then, but in the meantime... I'm going to snoop around. What's this? It's not what I wanted to look at, but okay then. Two of the clients. That lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here has got money to burn. No kidding. Okay, um... Don't really see anything suspicious at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and move. To the Fane Cove offices! The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. You there! This is crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Oh, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Dude, you like arrested me. Well, not really arrested me, but you took me in for questioning and I, you cut me there all morning. All night, all morning. Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I love all the butts. Phoenix Wright, how could anyone mistake me for Larry? Because of all the reasons. Gumshoe, you're hilarious. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He wasn't the killer! Right. And you were... <gasps> Detective Slashes Gumtree! Gumshoe. Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Seriously super sensitive, aren't you? Anyway, get the name right. Well, I will once you get my name right. 
And don't go calling me dick. That's sick. Like a prick. Hey, dick, get over here. Be <laughs> right there. Aw, poor Gumshoe. <laughs> You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Oh, he thinks I'm Mo Maya's lawyer. Sweet. Dude, I want her phone. About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? You want to know the results, huh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Yes, it does, because I'm, my, I'm Maya's lawyer, unofficially. You can see the report, but that's all. Yes! Autopsy report added. Fit. Now, about her cell phone. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? He said he's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgy boy! Edgeworth. Blum, blum, blum. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Give me your cell phone, dang it. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Yeah, I do. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgy Boy is on this one. <laughs> he hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Wow, that is really young. Holy crap. He must have done running start in high school. Anyway, of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Uh, so... I don't want to examine the room really quick. Excuse me, sir. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. How about this telephone? So sad, you're gonna make me cry. Um, oh yeah. We need to present him with this before we can get the cell phone. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh my gosh, so cute and pink. Oh that, I have that. You think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Oops. It's on to me. <sighs> tell him straight. I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter. Oh no, it's just, you know, detective? Nope, I know nothing, pal. Cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all the, all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. <gasps> You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. No. No joke. Sweet. Guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Uh, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait! One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. I'm gonna go talk to her because you told me not to. to. Think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Really? With that boobage? The witness? Yeah, Miss April. Oh my god! <laughs> For those of you new to my channel, my YouTube alias is Phoenix, 
But I'm not afraid to say that my actual name is April. <laughs> and for years, I've joked about that my middle name is May, but really it's not. <laughs> Miss April May! Oh my god. I'm sorry about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? <laughs> so you sent her off already, then. <laughs> You're trying to avoid it. I can't even. <laughs> she's not to go outside her room until the trial, so she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Turn <laughs> him. 